Let me correct that question a bit. Uh, yes, I've been in international forums, met many leaders, you added great leaders. So, many leaders, not always so great. Yes, there are a few great leaders, no question about that. Where is the world heading? <laughs> there are many possibilities because we have capabilities and technologies which no other generation could ever dream of. Will our capabilities turn against us or will they work for us is the big question. If all the human capabilities which are so hugely enhanced because of technology, everything that an individual human being could do has expanded manifold. In this enhanced state, and our numbers have increased tremendously, in the beginning of twentieth century, we were just about 1.5 billion people. Today, we are 7.3 billion people. The United Nations making predictions that by 2050, we will be 9.7 billion people. If all these people get educated, get technologically empowered, 9.7 billion people or nearly 10 billion people on this planet is for sure going to be a disaster. Yes. We can make arrangements and arrangements, we can improve the arrangements, we can make more energy-saving machines, we can recycle the shit. Yes. <laughs> we can do all this. But uh, if we don't come to our senses with human populations, there's going to be... I want you to just imagine how the world will be if the population almost goes up by fifty percent tomorrow. Just imagine your town, how it will be if fifty percent population increases tomorrow morning. Or in other words, no matter what we create, no matter how much we strive, whether whatever we build, everything is going to be insufficient because the planet is going to be insufficient. Of course, we are looking at planets which could sustain life outside of this solar system. We have found uh, two, three very promising planets, uh, it's just a little, you know, not in the walking distance. <laughs> a few, <laughs> few thousand or a million light years away. Great planets, I believe. But this is the thing, but nobody wants to address this issue. Everybody wants to talk about cosmetic solutions, not address the basic problem of expanding human population. I was in a conference and uh, I said, see, unless you... <laughs> unless you reduce the human footprint on the planet, there is no solution for anything. Then they asked me a brilliant question, how do you reduce the human footprint? I said, you have to reduce the number of feet. That's the only way. <laughs> so, right now, it doesn't matter what others think. All of you who are here and those of you who are hanging out with me, we can take it upon ourselves that we will not push the human population. You can have a dog. A husband and wife were having a debate whether to have a child or not. 
The husband wanted a child, the wife hesitating because she will lose the shape of her body and <laughs> you know. For a husband, having a baby is simple. <laughs> but for the woman, it's too many things involved. So debate was going on and then they came and the debate moved into an area where should we have a baby or should we get a dog? <laughs> then they could not decide, they went to a counselor, they put their problem in front of him. So he said, you got to just make up your mind, whether you want to ruin the carpets or your life, I'm not saying children are bad, they're wonderful, but it's just too many. We as human beings, we are wonderful, but we are too many. We are so many that the insect population is going down. No, no, it's not a joke, it's very… it's very threatening. If the insect population disappears, the planet will be destroyed. Yes. The worms disappear, the planet will be destroyed. If you and me disappear, planet will flourish <laughs> So, leave the leaders alone because in every conference that you meet, very cosmetic solutions are being talked about. How to adjust the marketplace, okay? <laughs> how to do this, how to do that. I, on immediate scale, yes, th those things are necessary, but you're talking about what is the future of this world. If that is so, if we want a future for this world, if we want our children and their children to live well on this planet, the only way is to bring down human population. Not by doing some horrible acts, but if we have… see, our life expectancy has improved. This means we have taken death into our hands. When we take death into our hands, it is our business to take birth also into our hands, isn't it? <laughs> if we convince the population of this one thing, future is very bright because tomorrow morning the sun will come up, what's the problem?